deals with the relation see the first main important word is relation okay right it is a branch of science deals with the relation between heat work temperature heat work temperature okay uh, and energy radiation properties of matter energy radiation properties of matter of matter so this relation is all about thermodynamics okay now if you see the heat means thermo thermal okay and this relationship of course has the thermodynamics is a foundation given by the you know great scientist einstein by the relativity theory of relativity e is equal to mc square and we will be discussing more on work and energy video that time we will be learning more about energy so what are the different four laws of thermodynamics let us see there are four laws of thermodynamics okay the first law okay i just read out the the first law uh, specifies the energy can be exchanged between physical system as heat and work that means if i have a system now system can be you know isolated it can be closed it can be open okay and this is your surrounding okay now you have a system and surrounding that can be in an exchange of you know heat okay so that's why heat and work that is the first uh, um, concept of first law of thermodynamics now if we have an internal energy e okay suppose this is an e this is the internal energy okay now if uh, the system has uh, exchange heat okay suppose it acquires some heat the system start to work so it can be two type the work done on the system or work done by the system if it is like the energy can be written that you know q plus w that is w is work or q minus w as per the first law of thermodynamics so plus w when the work done on the system and the minus w is when work done by the system okay so it is very important one and after the first law uh, it is very important that uh, total internal energy which is e2 minus e1 it is uh, you know uh, the internal energy is based on the other physical parameters that is temperature pressure and the volume this is very important concept to understand and if you know that there are different physical properties of system that is one can be the intensive property or intrinsic property intensive okay uh, what are the intensive property like temperature pressure viscosity surface tension refractive index ri refractive index specific heat density etc okay these are the intensive property then you have extensive property by the system extensive property what are those mass volume energy heat capacity entropy what is entropy it is the degree of randomness of the system now the system contain lot of you know molecules so degree of randomness and this entropy is based on the state of matter that i will come over the second law state of matter okay and uh, uh, other uh, extensive property is known as gibbs free energy that's also i'll come gibbs free energy there is these are the known as extensive property remember the extensive property depend upon the molecule or you can say concentration but in intensive or intrinsic property are independent of concentration so that is very important like you have an absorbance which is dependent on concentration but molar ex ex uh, you know ex uh, extension coefficient that is a intensive property we will be having an our uv visible video uv ir that time we will be discussing all these things okay now coming to the second law the second law defines that the entropy can be quantified and related to the state of the matter okay that's the that's the entropy and uh, once you know the entropy delta s you can measure with the heat exchange q reversible upon the absolute temperature okay it is q reversible the energy exchange in terms of kilojoule or joule okay 
and that is in terms of Kelvin. So entropy can be expressed by joule per Kelvin. Okay, that can is uh, is one time joule G pad. They have asked this sum. They have given some joules and uh, Q value and the Kelvin. Okay, now the entropy when it is you know the solid to liquid, a liquid to gas, the entropy increases over here. But if it is gas to liquid, liquid to solid, then entropy decreases towards here. Okay. So that's the things you must understand when the state changes. Okay. Now you have a second law of uh, thermodynamics explained by the equation. I'll just write over here. The second law that is uh, this also asked in GPAT. Delta S universe is equal to delta S system, delta S system plus delta S surrounding okay and that is greater than zero and this uh, process can be explained by a Carnot cycle which is an ideal engine okay explaining thermodynamic you know chapter so but that is not much used in pharmacy but uh, this is the second this can be uh, this has been asked in GPAT uh, like examination now after that uh, if you combine first law and second law of thermodynamics you get uh, the different expression of thermodynamics that is known as uh, gives free energy delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S now normally if you have a process known as dissolution okay dissolution now in dissolution you are 